Hi guys, welcome to my affordable watch collection. My name is Aviv and today we are taking a look at one of my personal favorite watches in the affordable category, the Vostok Amphibia 420-059, better known as the Blue Vostok Scuba Dude. I bought my Amphibia watch on eBay for 75 US dollars and they come in many different shapes, sizes and dial designs. I link a few options for you in the description of this video. I don't want to go into too much details about the rich Vostok history. There are dozens of videos going over the history of the Chistopol factory and I also covered it already in my review of the Vostok Komandirsky with the cool 24 hours dial. Check it out if you want to get to know the brand better. For this video it is suffice to say that Vostok has been around since 1942 and they make everything in-house. The Amphibia line was first introduced in 1967, has even been to space and has undergone very little changes since then. The watch came in this pretty spartan black plastic box. It has the brand name on top. Inside the watch sits on a plastic holder and you get some instructions and warranty printed in Russian on a slit of paper. That's it, nothing fancy, no bells and whistles, just a simple utilitarian box that holds the amphibia in place. Let's take a closer look at the watch. The width of the case is 40 millimeters, its thickness is 15 millimeters, including the domed crystal. The distance between the lugs is 18 millimeters, lug tip to lug tip is 45.7, and the watch weighs 110 grams. The dial is this gorgeous light blue or even teal color. There's a white printed minute track on the edge of the dial with little loomed dots every five minutes. The indices are all applied. They are these flat rectangles with white stripes on their centers. Well, maybe not so much on their centers as some of them are quite a bit off. The 12 o'clock marker is doubled for distinction. And on the three o'clock position, there's a date complication window surrounded by an applied silver frame. The date wheel is white and the numbers on it are black. Under the 12 o'clock marker, the famous scuba dude is scuba diving towards the Vostok logo, which is basically Vostok in Russian, with a little line on top. Above the 6 o'clock marker, the Vostok B logo, and on both sides of the 6 o'clock marker, it says made in Russia, again in Russian. The hands are typical Vostok hands. Vostok have been using the same exact handset for decades on a variety of different watches. We have a pencil style minute hand and a broad arrow hour hand. Both are filled with loom and a red seconds hand with a loomed lollipop tip. The fact that the hands are not specifically designed for this watch means that they are not a perfect fit. I think they are a bit too short and each hand could use a couple of millimeters of extension. The loom is, well, not amazing. It shines in a green light and is fairly bright at first, but it seems that there is just not enough of it, especially on the indices, and it does fade pretty quickly. The loom on the hands is better, but not a lot better. For a watch at this price point, it's okay, I guess. Although I would prefer better loom if I were to take this watch actually diving. The bezel is made of stainless steel and has a black and red colored circles and line design engraved on it to mark the five minute marks. It has a coin edge that allows for a great grip, but it doesn't scratch it at all. It rotates smoothly to both directions. It can be moved without you wanting it to move. It is something that Vostok has been doing for years without changing, so I guess that there is some logic behind it. 
Also lacking from the bezel is a loomed indication that will help you identify the location of the 12 o'clock marker when it's dark or when you're underwater. This specific amphibia uses the Vostok's 420 case. These are the first three numbers of the watch's reference number. This case is made of stainless steel and it features a polished finish on all of its surfaces. The quality of the finish is not premium, but it's pretty good for the price point. It does get rough between the lugs though. The lugs are short and stubby and they angle down to make the watch wear nicely on the wrist. I do wish they were 20 mm apart rather than 18. I think it could have looked better. On the 3 o'clock position there's a large non-signed screw down crown. After you screw it out you are met with one of the most prominent Vostok features, the wobbly crown. No, it is not broken. It is actually designed to make the crown and stem more resistant to blows. If the crown sustains a direct hit, it is less likely that the stem will bend or break. When you twist the crown up, you can hand wind the movement, pull it out to set the time. Notice that the second hand doesn't stop sweeping and even jerks around when you're in time set mode. There's no quick set date here. You can't flick through the days of the month to easily set the date. So in order to change the date, you'll have to either rotate the crown on and on and wait for the date to change every second rotation of the hour hand, or go back and forth between midnight and 8 p.m. to do it a bit quicker, like so. But either way, it would have been much more comfortable to have a quick set date like we are used to have on modern watches. Many people who have an amphibia just don't bother setting the correct date on their watch or even wait until the date it stopped on the last time they wore the watch is correct again to wear the watch again. The amphibia features a 3mm thick high domed acrylic crystal. Although more prone to scuffs and scratches, it is part of the water resistance system Thanks to its relative flexibility, during diving, the pressure of the water will push down on it and it will make it expand and will actually increase the water resistance. Another part of the unique water resistance system here is the case back. It is made of stainless steel and has some Russian engraving on it, amphibia in the center, shock resistant right above it, waterproof 200 meters on top, and automatic winding on the very bottom. Instead of the entire case back screen directly onto the case, the case back is made up of two parts, a plate and a ring. The plate sits on top of a wide rubber gasket, and the ring screws down on top of it. This way the gasket doesn't get tarnished by the rotation of the case back, the pressure of the water presses the back plate onto the rubber gasket and again, the larger the pressure or the deeper underwater the watch goes, the better the water resistance is. The official water resistance is 200 meters, but some pressure tests have shown that the amphibia can withstand more, in fact much more pressure than that. The movement powering this amphibia is the Vostok 2416, an automatic movement made in-house in the Chistopol factory. It has 31 joules and it beats at a lower rate than usual of 19,800 beats per hour. It hand winds but it doesn't hack and has that date complication with no quick set option. It has 31 hours of power reserve once it's fully wound and the stated accuracy is between minus 20 to plus 60 seconds per day. According to Vostok, this movement has 10 years of service intervals. That means that 10 years will pass before you have to take it to the watchmaker for service. When I reviewed my Vostok Komandirsky, I didn't understand why Vostok bracelets get so much hate. Sure, it wasn't perfect, but it wasn't that bad either. 
and then I bought the amphibia. This bracelet is bad. This bracelet makes the bad Seiko 5 SNXS bracelet feel like a luxury item. It is made of stainless steel and is constructed of folded links, designed to look like five links in each row, with a polished finish all over. It is very light and feels very tinny and very cheap. The clasp is especially bad. It is a very thin pressed metal that is so sharp on the edges you can probably use it as a weapon. It has a fold-over security latch and it closes with friction only. There are no pushers here. It is brushed and has the Vostok logo pressed onto it. If you are getting one of these watches, do yourself a favor and change the bracelet. On my 7-inch wrist, this is just a beautiful watch in my opinion. The way that the light blue dial stands out is amazing. At 75 bucks, I think this is one of the best looking watches I own. It's quirky, but it wears nicely on the wrist and has a certain vintage charm to it. Once you replace the original bracelet with something else, it looks better and becomes much more comfortable too. The 40mm size of the case means it should wear great on different wrist sizes, both larger and smaller than mine. Legibility here is pretty good. I haven't had any issues being able to read the time at any time. So let's take a look at some pros and cons of the Vostok Amphibia. Let's start with the cons. And I think these are common downfalls both of watches at this price point in general, but also of Vostok watches specifically. First we have quality control that is neither here or there. Most chances are that you'll get a good watch, but the Chistopol factory is known to miss a few bad ones every now and then, and there are many reports of Vostok watches arriving defected straight out of the box. Add to that a virtually non-existent customer service, and you see how this can potentially be a problem. Looking at the watch itself though, we have the loom that leaves more to be desired, and the freely rotating bezel with no loom at all. The in-house movement is rugged and robust, but accuracy is unfortunately not its strong side. Now let's do the pros. This, despite its pretty significant shortcomings, is one of my favorite watches in my collection. First of all, I think it just looks really good. I love the color of the dial, and that little scuba dude that adds so much character to the watch. It has tons of interesting history. When you strap one of these on your wrist, it feels like you really tap into the history and heritage of the Vostok brand. Everything here is made in-house with Russian innovation. Well, it might be 50 years old innovation. Vostok are true believers of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But we can definitely agree that these watches are unique in the watch market, with patents you won't see anywhere else, like the ingenious water protection system. This watch was designed and built to be a tool watch, and you can trust it to perform like one for years and years without failing. There's a big modding community surrounding these watches, hardcore enthusiasts who live and breed for the love of them. The modding and personalizing potential is almost endless and not very expensive to get into. Speaking of not very expensive, one of the things that make the Amphibia such a popular choice is their affordable price. You get all of the above for under 100 US dollars. I think that more than being great value for your money, these watches are actually underpriced and are actually worth more than they sell for. I think that because we are witnessing a rise in their popularity, we are also going to witness a rise in the prices in the future. If you want one, I suggest you go ahead and buy it soon, before that happens. I have gathered some options for you in the description of this video, including this one. Go ahead and check them out and see if there's something you like. As usual, I will also leave some links to some straps I really like and personally use. Check them out as well. 
Note that these are affiliate links that will not cost you any extra money, but will go a long way in helping this channel grow. Let me know what you guys think of the Vostok Amphibia. Share your stories if you own one or more of these by dropping a comment in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my affordable watch collection and hit the notification bell for more affordable watches related content. You can also follow me on Instagram where you can get to know me and my collection a little bit better, get all the news about the channel and connect with me on a personal level. Here is a quick link to my review of my Komendirski and to another video you might enjoy. I want to thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you next time.